One in every 10 high school students in the U.S. vapes. That's a shocking federal statistic from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. At one school system, they've confiscated all of this, hundreds of vape pens. This is news to it for Alex Dennis. Well, some of these vape products, they even carry THC. Andy Cordan traveled to Giles County today to speak to the sheriff and his school resource officers. Andy, what they told you, pretty concerning. Oh, absolutely. They told me that the kids are vaping in classrooms and hallways and bathrooms. They're hiding vapes on their bodies, even hiding them around toilets and ceiling tiles so their fellow classmates can find it. We don't. You're looking at hundreds of vapes. I mean, the custodians, they find them when they're cleaning the toilets. Confiscated over the last two years by these Giles County SROs. I just believe that this here is going to hurt some of our kids. We, we got to get, a, we'll try to get a control of this. These men are on the front lines in Giles County's two high schools and the middle schools. It's a nicotine high. It's a synthetic nicotine. It's not a derivative of tobacco. So I guess it's just a little stronger and gives them a little, little rush. They tell me that vaping is an epidemic. I feel like it's an epidemic in this county. With kids smoking in hallways, even classrooms. Yeah, because they can hit that vape, open up their shirt and blow it right down there and it just dissipates. And in the bathrooms, vapes are not only used, they're hidden. Custodians will find vapes behind the toilets. So kids will hide them and text other kids and let them know, hey, the vape is behind the toilet and they go in there and close the door and then they smoke them. When told that one in 10 students vapes, according to the CDC, these SROs tell me it's worse than that. Easily 95% of the kids that go to our high school is holding, using, or have used, or have used a vape. I was actually talking to a group of middle school kids in our library about it, and we asked, it was probably 30 kids, how many of those kids have a good friend that's vaped? or is currently vaping, I think two out of the 30 didn't raise their hand. So 28 kids raised their hand. Oh, yeah. And we've so, had, we've already issued citations to sixth graders. That is an epidemic, I think. Yes, sir. I just say talk to your kids. Be a parent. You know, don't be their friends. That's a lot of parents now is trying to be the kid's friend. Mm -hmm. Talk to them and let them know, hey, this is not good to do. Talk, see if they got friends trying to get them to influence them to do it. And the sheriff tells me that his deputies are doing active enforcement at stores that might sell vapes illegally to kids. But really, the SROs say it's up to you parents. You have to start a conversation with your kids about vaping. If not, this problem's only going to get worse.